honey bunches welcome back to another video as you can see by the title and the thumbnail this video is all about reviewing this groovy cookbook which is called family um, new vegetable classics to comfort and nourish it's by Hattie McKinnon who has done those quite visually wonderful books called neighborhood um, this one is all vegetarian and has a lot of vegan and gluten-free options I only cooked eight recipes only I mean it's a fair chunk a slice of the pie eight recipes that were either already vegan and gluten free or I did a few swaps which voiceover feed will take you through um, to make them vegan and gluten free and they were really easy swaps or well, really easy for me being in quite a privileged position to have um, substitutes available to me so I know it's a vegetarian cookbook which might be a bit of a <laughs> um, but come on people um, this person knows how to do vegetables really well like she uses herbs um, to a tea to make elevate them to the next level and in some instances I would go so far as to say that she knows how to do veg better than deliciously Ella but that's in certain instances which I shall take you through so perhaps this cookbook could be um, handy for you if you want to like encourage that vegetable vegan vegetarian interest of a family friend or family member this Christmas or just a friend because they will be cooking things that might be vegan without even knowing it and yeah they all celebrate vegetables in a funky way so without further ado i will hand it over to voiceover phoebe to, hand, to take you through what i made so eight recipes and i will see you at the end bye so honey bunches the first recipe was this roasted cauliflower with peas and minted yogurt salad and bloom and heck started on a high so you make like this um yogurt i switched greek yogurt for coconut yogurt like a natural one and that just made this vegan and perfectly fine and it wasn't particularly coconutty so you blend that with peas and mint that's the coconut yogurt i used um and you boil some quinoa also had micro herbs in it which i did find at like a just a sort of independent grocery store um mix that with quinoa and peas and more mint and then there was the dressing you roast some cauliflower surprise surprise and you toss through the yogurt and blow and heck okay all these um salads were like definitely best fresh but bloody hell i mean just that injection of mint with peas and herbs and oh brilliant lovely okay this one was also probably one of my favorites along with the first recipe roasted potatoes with lentils capers and parsley lemon pesto um i didn't really have a mortar and peso peso wow pestle so i just chopped up finally the parsley with like lemon and garlic you cook green lentils and it was roast potato-y parsley lemony the lentils were like spot on um definitely way better with cooking your own than using the tinned ones and like can't wait to make this 10 gazillion times over the summer because it was so good and so flavorful and so comforting yet fresh and zingy with the lemon yeah so the next one was primavera rice salad with gremolata so might have made too much rice for this one to be in the salad but you had like edamame peas um, red onion garlic then shredded zucchini and shredded fennel. I really like fennel in salads. It has that sort of aniseed -y taste, so it's not up everyone's alley. Aniseed is like a bit licorice -y, for those of you wondering. I swapped the feta for a vegan feta, as you saw. And even though we did like perhaps have too much rice um, in the salad, then more than it said, it was still super flavor packed and super comforting. And the vegan feta, like we're not a big fan of that that cheese, but it like just melted throughout the rice in the salad and was so good. And we'll be great for lunches. So that one was a major tick too. This one, the deconstructed falafel salad. Also good. I had to like read you the quantities because I didn't have like two bunches of kale, which is what it needed. Um, you roast some chickpeas. They do take quite a long time, like 40 minutes. But anywho, uh, did that. You like pan fry the kale, which is a great method. I haven't really done that much of. I just tend to roast it. Make like a tahini dressing. That took a lot of stirring. Um, and then lots of mint leaves and shredded cucumber. And the chickpeas I probably overcooked because they were a bit too crunchy, but everything was delicious. Um, it wasn't too falafel reminiscent, but the creamy dressing and everything, you know, it was fab and a great way to have kale because it tasted so good. Right, um, one more salad I think. Um, I'm not gonna uh, try and pronounce the first word. E pepe broccolini with crispy white beans. Um, you sort of char the broccolini, which was a great method, you know, still got a bit of bite, and then you crispy up the white beans. And I know um, Jamie Oliver kind of introduced that method to me when I was younger, um, but 
I do remember thinking, you know, you can only crispy up beans so much. They are innately mushy. Um, but yeah, this was still good. I just swapped the parmesan for vegan parmesan and it was comforting and lemony and I think it had parsley in it too. Uh, yeah, it was good. But those beans do soak up a lot of oil, don't they, Harvey? Um, so if, if that's not your thing, then crisping up beans is probably not your ideal life mission. Oh, hearts. Um, okay, next recipe, cabbage and carrot vermicelli slaw with tofu and lemon poppy seed dressing. It just looks like a lot of shredded veg in the pick, but there is a lot of tofu in it, um, which you just brown up in the pan, so it's not super flavorful, but you know, with a bit of salt and pepper, it's pretty good. Um, I swapped mung bean vermicelli for just like regular rice noodles, and you make like a lemon poppy seed parsley chive dressing. There's cabbage and carrot in there. Definitely had too many noodles in this one too, just because I wanted to use what the packet had, not have a random amount left over. And yeah, it was this one was subtle and gentle in flavour, not so punchy, the lemon and parsley and whatnot, but it was still delicious and this one actually kept pretty well, so like like most of these, um, well okay, they're best fresh, but they do keep well for like lunches the next day. Yum. So the next recipe is this broken rice um, lettuce kind of soup. And I was really looking forward to this because I think I was I was hoping that it would be like a comforting, you know, chicken noodle soup-esque thing. Um, so the flavours were subtle again in this and I was interested um, to see how nice the broth was. The broth was good. I used a, a nice vegetable stock, better than like a uh, stock cube or powder form. And then I had rice in it, which is a bit different to what I usually do. Look, it was good, but definitely didn't keep that well because the rice turned into a gluggy mess. Um, but it was it was nice for like a healing broth, but I don't think I'll make it again. But it was still good. Um, okay, so Fanala Hay. My mum made this and it was really good. Sweet and sour cauliflower with ramen noodles. Bought some gluten-free ramen noodles to switch out the regular wheat ones. Um, you had to like individually like sort of shallow fry the cauliflower which was time consuming and it was sort of impossible to cook the cauliflower completely so it was sort of a bit crunchy um, which made digestion a bit weird but look it was so good so the sweet and sour sauce we didn't have as much tamari in it but I know that was kind of good wasn't salty or anything and bloody heck it tasted like sweet and sour, like Chinese takeaway chicken. It was so good. And these noodles that we got, you know, were a great substitute and it was heavenly. And I would like to try it with tofu next time as well as cauliflower and just sort of play around with it because the flavors were top notch. And that's everything, Honey Bunches. Thank you so much for watching, Honey Bunches. I hope you enjoyed. It was somewhat helpful and delicious tummy um, rumbling drool inducing salivating inducing um yeah i hope it was all that i can't remember what i just said radio uh see you on instagram in between now and the next video it's just that honey watch of onion tops and if i look like a shiny um manky mess it's because there's like no wind and it's about 30 degrees and it has been for like the past three days so waiting for that cool change but gotta do the intro and outro okay <laughs> see you on instagram between now and the next video and hope you're doing super well bye